According to latest reports, the new special purpose joint venture company for the production of AMCA fighter jets will be announced by the end of 2022, that will comprise of Hindustan Aeronautics DRDO and some major private sector companies. The AMCA project will have 75% government funding, and the remaining 25% of the project cost will be borne by the selected private companies. Hindustan Aeronautics will have the biggest shareholding pattern in the new company, and talks are currently being held with interested private companies like Tata Defense, Larson and Tubro, VEM Technologies and Kalyani Group, that will act as Tier 1 or Tier 2 companies as part of its supply chain for the program. The Bangalore facility of Hindustan Aeronautics will build the first two technology demonstrators, and the AMCA Mark I and AMCA Mark II fighters will be built at a new production facility, for which the land has been identified in the Tamil Nadu Defence Industrial Corridor. The Aeronautical Development Agency will send the proposal of the AMCA for approval to the Cabinet Committee on Security in early 2022, after which 15,000 crore rupees will be released by the Indian government, and the rollout of the first prototype will happen in 2025. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a request for proposal for the procurement of Quartz Radome for the Uttam Mark II radar of Tejas Mark II fighter jet. The Aeronautical Development Agency will procure two airworthy radome and one Quartz Radome from the British firm Midget Aerospace Limited, while a separate indigenous project for Quartz Radome is also underway with an optional transfer of technology clause, in which the Aeronautical Development Agency will hold the intellectual property rights and the firm will have to collaborate with a defense public sector company for production, while Indian private companies will be responsible to establish the required maintenance infrastructure for providing base repairs and spares for the entire life cycle of the radome. India has issued a no-time warning for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle over the Bay of Bengal, for the period between 27th to 31st December. The designated area is around 165 kilometers, and it could likely be the first test of the much-awaited Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile from a Su-30 fighter jet. Under the Phase 1 of the BMD program, the construction of 4 l band long-range tracking radar is currently underway, and these will be dedicated for Western Air Defense Identification Zone. Under the second phase, three more long-range tracking radar will be constructed for the Western Front from early 2022. The construction of 12 more L-band high-power radar sites will start in 2022, out of which eight will be along the LAC with China, and four sites will be along the LOC with Pakistan. The Defence Procurement Board has cleared 29,760 high-quality image intensifiers worth 1,410 crore rupees for the SIG 716 rifles of the Indian Army, that will be designed and made in India, and these image intensifiers will boost the night fighting capability. The Defence Procurement Board has also cleared 40 fire control radars for the Army's air defence worth 1,600 crore rupees, that will involve indigenous development testing and production of these radar systems. The Royal Malaysian Air Force operates a fleet of eight F-A-18B fighter jets, and there were several reports that the Royal Malaysian Air Force is in process to procure 33 F-A-18B fighter jets from Kuwait that are in good condition and with low operating hours, but now the Kuwait's Army General Staff Headquarters has denied the media reports of F-A-18 sale to Malaysia. The Royal Malaysian Air Force also aims to procure 36 new light combat aircraft, in which India's Stages fighter jet has emerged as a major contender on the basis of low cost and current combat capabilities. <laughs> Oh, Mark, drop it.